Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the companion of the Prophet وسلم, said one day, اقتصاد في سنة خير من اجتهاد في بدعة. He said, doing very little actions, but in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, is far greater and better than doing so much, but not in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet So doing very little, but holding on to the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, the way we do that, will give you much more reward than doing so many actions, but not according to the sunnah of the Prophet That if you even you know get out of that out of doing something not in accordance with the sunnah if you get out of that without any blame you might it's, it's a liability allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran in surah an-nisa which we which we started today allah says walaw annahum fa'alu ma yu'adhuna bihi lakana khayran lahum wa ashadda tathbita and had they done what they have been commanded what they have been instructed means following the guidance that was sent to them, not inventing something from themselves, not following the way of their culture, of the background of their forefathers and so on and so forth. If they follow what they have been instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ It would have been, count with me, would have been خَيْرًا لَهُمْ Better for them. وَأَشَدَّ تَثْبِيتَ And it would have made them firm on the deen, would strengthen their faith. لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ وَأَشَدَّ تَثْبِيتًا وَإِذَا لَآتَيْنَاهُمْ مِنْ لَدُنَّا أَجْرًا عَظِيمًا And we would have given them from ourselves, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a huge, enormous reward. وَلَهَدَيْنَاهُمْ صِرَاطًا مُسْتَقِيمًا And we would have guided them to the straight path. Four. The fifth. وَمَنْ يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّيقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءِ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسُنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا Whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger, then he is with the one Allah has favored, the prophets, the martyrs, the righteous people, and the truthful ones. And this is the best companionship. Five things you get if you hold on to the instructions of Allah and the Prophet ﷺ. The companions, generally speaking, they, they did not do excess in worship. Even the Prophet ﷺ told them about the khawarij, people of innovation. He told them that when you see them, you will see that your prayer is very little compared to the khawarij prayer. And you will see that they fast more than you do. But the Prophet ﷺ called the khawarij the dogs of the hellfire. So your closeness to Allah, your righteousness is not by how much you do. It's, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Do you follow the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ in that? Do you pray as the Prophet ﷺ prayed? Do you fast as the Prophet ﷺ fasted? Do you make dhikr the way the Prophet ﷺ did? That's the criteria. So if you, you can actually do very little deeds, but you can get so much reward if you follow the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. That's the secret in Islam. That's the beauty of Islam. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, one of the Tabi'een says, or Abu Bakr al-Muzani says, مَا سَبَقَكُمْ أَبُو بَكْرٍ أَبُو بَكْرٍ رضي الله عنه لا بكثرة صلاة ولا بكثرة صيام ولكن بشيء وقر في قلبه Abu Bakr did not excel and outperform all of the companions due to excess prayer or excess fast. He, wasn't, he didn't pray the most among the companions. He didn't uh, fast so he didn't pray, he didn't fast the most among the companions. There were among the companions people who did more than Abu Bakr apparently did. But Abu Bakr's iman weighs or outweighs all of their iman. And Abu Bakr is the best of all the companions. What was that? Another scholar comments on that and he says, Abu Bakr excelled due to something that was in his heart. In his heart. Sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and concern and love for the creation so generally excellence is not in how much you do it's not about quantity but it's quality follow the sunnah of the prophet abu, abu bakr is known to be the most among the companions to follow the sunnah of the prophet in every aspect even when it sounded seemingly to contradict logic with one issue, uh, straight after the death of the Prophet ﷺ, he sent the army of Usama ibn Zayd to Asham to fight the Byzantines. Although there were people who apostated. So Umar ibn Khattab, the companions told him, you know, we need people here to defend Islam. How are you sending these people 
to the Roman to fight the Romans? He said, I'm not, I cannot take back an army that the Prophet ﷺ commanded to march forward. So using calculations, it doesn't work. But he said, I can't just, you know, I can't cancel a command from the Prophet ﷺ. I just can't do it. And Allah gave them victory by means of that. Because those who apostated, when they realized that these people are fighting the Romans, they're sending an army to the Romans, they must have something even stronger in Medina. So they gave up. It's the blessings of following the Sunnah of the Prophet. This is just a notion I want to.